Hey, hey, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of WWE Supercards. I am your host, Fireproof, and this is episode 86. The card customization feature is awesome. I will tell you that right now. We are in our King of the Ring. We are 37-4. and four. We had a hard time beating one of these guys, and I will go to the standings and see. Yeah, this guy right here. Uh, Jagacha. He's only lost one match. So he's pretty good. And I'm currently second. Ten games ahead of the, the third place guy. So we are doing well in King of the Ring. It is PCC. Come to find out, because uh, I was thinking that there wasn't one this week because of being Team PCC being Monday, possibly. We all thought it was going to be Team PCC. And it happens to be Roman Reigns versus Dean Ambrose. Come on, WWE. And and the guys that make the Cat Daddy and all the creators of this, stop giving away the, the answers or the... Uh, not the answers, but the uh, matches for Survivor Series. Just for the fact that uh, they're still doing the tournament. This get, this proves the fact that it, it is going to be Roman Reigns versus Dean Ambrose at Survivor Series for the title. That's what irks me. But we don't know who the winner of that's going to be. Whether it's going to be Dean Ambrose or Roman. I cannot say. And this is the PCC Day 1. We are going to play a couple games. And uh oh. I forgot to show you before I started the PCC. But. I have a little surprise. Oh, I lost that game. And no, it's not the new intro, because I debuted that yesterday's. Besides, I do have Triple H pro now. It, I was working all day long into the night last night to pro Triple H. Boy, he was a pain in the butt to pro. I know, by the way, if you guys didn't know, yes, I went with Dean Ambrose in this PCC. I am not going to spend credits or bouts or uh, well, credits for the pick of the point doubler. I'm just going to play the game like normal because of what happened the last time I played. With the Nikki Bella situation, I ain't gonna do that again. But what I'd like to show you is we'll go into uh, well, we're already in legend uh, legendary, so I'm gonna show you the two cards that I pulled off screen of the legendaries is it's Paige and a legendary Eve. But that's not the big surprise. The big surprise is this guy right here. The Ultimate Warrior. I happen to just, just proed, just proed Triple H. And I had a match against Biggie Dude. Could I see his name? So I f faced him. Right after I beat him 2-1, to one, sorry Biggie Dude, it's just the way the game went, but my first draw, because proing him, just alone proing him, sat me up in the uh, survivor tier. My first, pro, my first pick happened to be the Ultimate Warrior. So I'm pretty excited about the Ultimate Warrior. I'm pretty excited about putting him into the uh, King of the Ring now. 
I kind of hope, I wished it a little bit, part of me wished it was a diva, because that would have helped dramatic, or, uh, dramatically, or tra traumatically, or, not traumatically, but, dra uh, you know what I'm trying to say, guys, it's going to help a lot. But, I am not complaining. It's the Ultimate Warrior. I do love the design of the cards. But we'll get back into the PCC. And I think I hit the wrong button. I think we're going to go with that little one-pointer. But, me being me... Being me and what happened the last time I did that is the fact that um I don't care all the I, I would just be happy with just a regular if I don't get the PCC card my goal is to get the regular survivor But as you can see, my Triple H is all proed up. He still has a little bit of of charisma left to do, and his ability, his ability. But you know, with that said, I think I have a pretty awesome lineup for at least exhibition mode, except for my divas. And Alber uh, Alberto Del Rio and Finn is hanging out. Dolph is hanging out. And yes, I did. I did accidentally hit the uh, the one point button. Not bad. But it is what it is. We're waiting on a network. And for those ones that, and we're waiting. Uh -huh. I thought it was going to be somebody's something excited because I notice sometimes when it waits on the network long enough, it's going to be a good card. Sometimes, not all the times, but I have noticed, and a lot of people have noticed, that the lag in the game. has been a little bad the the game speed is slow a little bit the lag is there you can it's noticeable but what you can do it, it they're still working on the stuff so you can't complain too bad because at least they attempted at least they got stuff to where it is actually cool. I do know that Road to Glory is going to be a pain in the butt. Now, Ring Domination might be a pain in the butt. Because it's like, you you figure it's like, oh, we got this far. Now they bring in a new tier. Aww. But, you know, I like the new teal. I love the new cards. The, the, even the pictures on the cards are awesome. I have nothing to say uh, bad to say about, other than the, la the little bit of lag, and I did make a video yesterday about what I'd like to see in the game of what throwbacks and the stuff like that but you know honestly I can't I can't say anything bad about the game I do know some of the uh, some of the uh, survivors like this stone cold right here that you see is from the actual game of WWE 2K16 that is the, the stone cold that's on the cover uh, the Survivor Gold Dust 
is the gold dust off the game. Oh, and there's a survivor, Bailey, which is awesome. Yes, the new, the new Bailey is a new card in ultra rare, legendary, and survivor. And uh, survivor also has the uh, sh has a Charlotte, a Sasha Banks. Uh, Becky Lynch. Which is awesome, by the way. Oh, I am going to win this one. That, that, that's actually a shocker to me, because I didn't think I was. I'm just trying to get what's left of him. It's... Triple H is pro all the way up. He just don't have his tokens in yet because I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put them. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about put them in power and charisma. Maybe three power th or two charisma or two charisma three power. Maybe two power two charisma and maybe a toughness for a speed. But you, 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 I don't know. I don't know yet. But I, I do know that I'm 6,313th. I don't know if that's good or bad. This probably will be our last game, our last match of the night of day. Divas match, we're probably going to lose this one. Probably would have if she proc, but you know, she didn't. So that's good for that's good for fireproof. We are 2-0, oh, toughness speed, oh, just for the heck of it, we're going to throw a Triple H though, just in case he is not all the way trained. And just because the fa the fact of the matter that I have never done this on a camera that I, that I can recall, I might have. I am actually going to, well, besides pick the cards, I am actually going to set the uh, the tokens in triple. Oh, we do. I thought he was all the way up. We don't have a power. Do we have? Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, we do have a power, so. We'll put one more power in him, and uh, we'll put two here, one in speed, two in charisma, because it looks like right now, oh, we're not even going to worry about speed, we're going to put them in, we're going to put it in toughness. Because speed looks like it's already been pretty good. We're going to see what we have for the small little little guys here. And um, we're just going to finish out this Triple H. After that, we're not going to worry about the to uh, anything but... That looks just about right.
So we're going to hit mm, accept. So my power is good. My speed is good. They're all pretty decent. But I have been Fireproof. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time on another episode of WWE Supercards. Bye-bye.